everybody, welcome back to the Road Life Vlogs YouTube channel. Today it's going to be mask day and I'm so excited because Dr. Jart just came out with the coolest new shake and shop masks that when I saw them I was like, oh my god, I'm a mask lover and I gotta try these. And if you watch, ever watch my mask videos, you know Dr. Jart is one of my top five favorites. And so I just thought maybe today I could just open one up and try it. It's really cool. The little face right here is their logo for their masks. It's a little baby face and who doesn't want baby skin? You know what I mean? They have a bunch of them, but I got the Instant Soothing Boost, which is this one, and then I got the Hydration Boost and I'm gonna try the Hydration Boost today. So pretty much, um, it looks like a little shake. I think it's adorable. And I'm, I was getting pretty bored of just putting a mask on every night. I thought this would be so much fun to just like experiment and have fun with. So inside your shop comes your mixer. And this is the stuff you, this is the spatula you apply on your face. And then you have your two, your two little products that you squeeze into this and then you shake. So this is number two. So this is number one. This is your shake and shot rubber mask mix. And then this is your Shake and Shop Rubber Hydro Mask. So you squeeze both of those in here, you cover it up, you shake it, and then you shake it until it stops, you hear it stop mixing, and then you just apply it to your face. So I am super excited about this. Um, I believe you leave this on for, it says 15 to 20 minutes, and then you actually peel it off, which is so cool, I love peel off masks. So we're gonna get down and dirty right now. I'm going to remove my makeup, I'm gonna mix this thing up, and we're gonna have some fun. So keep on watching. After it is done mixing, you get your spatula and you apply the mask on your face. After you're done, Applying this, I use my fingers and I also use the spatula. Once you're done applying, let it dry for 15 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna peel this sucker off. I'll be right back. So we are back. I let it dry, I can actually feel it. Can't really speak too well, but it is so cooling to the touch as well as cooling to the skin. It is so refreshing and it was so much fun to do. So now I'm gonna get my mirror, my impressions vanity mirror, and I'm gonna start peeling. I can really feel it peeling off from here. So let's start from the top. Ah, I love peeling masks so much. Something satisfying about just like peeling, oh, I got some. Peeling stuff off your face. Okay. Let's start back here. So I am a little red, but that's sometimes normal for me. I'm very sensitive skin. Some things, Make me turn red. Oh my god, it's like a horror show. It's like, ah! <laughs> this is pretty cool. It feels so, so good. Like, my skin feels so good. I love these masks. Oh my god, this is awesome. I think I got every single last one of them. There's some on my face, but whatever. So, wow, my skin looks amazing. Oh my god, this looks so good. Not only does my skin feel like cool and refreshed, but it just feels so, so, so soft. I absolutely love these masks. Like, 100% recommend them. Not only are they fun, but man, my skin feels so nice. I love how cool it feels. This is so, so, so nice. I'm excited to try the soothing one. If this is for hydrating, the soothing must feel absolutely amazing. So yeah, 100% recommend these. I absolutely love them. Um, I can't wait to buy more. I love to do a mask every night um, or sometimes in the morning when I feel a little swollen. 
and I also use my Jade Roller. Don't forget to watch that video. It's the one before this one. And it just helps inflammation. This is just so cool that it wasn't even in the refrigerator and it feels so cool to the skin. So I'm really excited about that. So that is it. That is my skin after using a Dr. Jart um, Shake and Shop mask. Uh, they sell them at Sephora. And I will link all the information down below. So I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Instagram at The Road Life Blog. And on my regular blog at www.theroadlifeblog.com.